Hello, my name is Brian Harvey and I'd like to, to introduce you to today's webinar. It's importing handwritten results into an inspection report. So let's first of all take a look at the digital pen. Um, I've got a camera mounted here and I've plugged in the pen and we can see the pen has got a special camera in the base of it and it's got some connectors which charge the pen up. Obviously the pens are a data storage device and when I dock the pen after collecting some data the pen will actually send uh, some data using a piece of software called a uh, pen pusher so a little bit like an email and the data that it sends is based on data that it collects from a form so here I've, I've printed out a, an example form I've got three characteristics and against each characteristics I've chosen to collect 20 pieces of data. Now if we take a look at the, the form, you can see there's a grey pattern and that grey pattern is actually a set of unique dots and the special camera, if we just go back to the, uh, the pen, the special camera in the base of the, the pen picks up on the dots so therefore it knows whereabouts it is on the actual sheet. Now what we've done to mistake proof this process is you actually write the result in either side of this uh, pre-populated decimal point and then put uh, an X to say that it's out of spec or a tick to say that it's in spec. So we've effectively got a double gated process. Now to actually design the forms we use this software called PDF Template Designer and if I just um, uh, go into uh, uh, edit mode um, we can actually see that the widget properties for this particular um, um, you know, graphic are set to fail and this one is set to pass and this one is set to um, uh, numeric I'll just grab the centre of that, I was just grabbing the outside box there and you see that one set to numeric and so on so we can we can create uh, headers and footers and, and basically design the entire uh, form and produce um, the output that uh, that I was just showing you there on, on the sheet. So, well, how did, I, how did I get to this stage? Well, first of all, for for those of you that's not seen the software before, we use uh, Visual Fair to create the actual uh, dimensions, the characteristics, and then we output the data onto a laser printer and we're using a post script printer driver and that's the the bit that doesn't you know move the dots it uh, doesn't photo enhance anything it prints it exactly where we want it to print it and that becomes a unique pattern so I've already ballooned the drawing so I've, I've, I've not ballooned the whole drawing just just for this example I just picked a few characteristics and you can see the data going out onto a, an ordinary form one um, uh, sorry, an already form three, a uh, form three that I've modified with five um, requirements, and we've also got an SPC chart. So to generate um, the data, what I did is I ran the digital pen and paper application. So I'll just wait for Visual Fair to close, and then we'll right click and we'll run uh, digital pen and paper. Now you've got a variety of different, obviously because it's customizable we can set up different forms but I'm going to demonstrate rather than the standard form 3 I'm going to demonstrate this example uh, for collecting multiple results. I'm going to collect 20 results and I'm interested in characteristics 1, 3 and 5 and if we do a preview we can see um, what the form actually looks like. So we've got, as I say, the pre-populated decimal point, that's to mistake proof obviously people putting in circles or you know, little commas for decimal points. So obviously there's a little bit of training needed to get used to the, the pen, but it's you know it's pretty straightforward. Across if it's out of torrents, a tick if it's in torrents. Um, now pre-populated the part number and the part name. Obviously I could have pre-populated the manufacturing process reference. And in fact let's um, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll create a manufacturing process reference one two three four five and then I'm going to go and generate uh, a form. So that's sent to the colour laser printer, 600 dots per inch. I'm using uh, an Oki uh, printer, it's about £180 worth of printer. 
Um, the reason it's colour, it actually does print in, in colour uh, for the process to work. 600 dots per inch, as I say, and it has to use a postscript printer driver. They're the sort of key ingredients for the, for the printer requirements. So while that's uh, printing off, I will um, pop the camera back on. I'll move this one out of his way because this one didn't have a manufacturing process reference. But now the one that we've just printed off uh, does have the manufacturing process reference. As I say, this unique set of dots is, is only going to be repeated once for this um, particular report. So let's say that this report was several pages um, you know, uh, long, then the manufacturing process reference would be the same across each uh, sheet but obviously the pattern of dots would be different for each sheet. So when we use the pen, uh, the system's going to know um, what data we're actually collecting. So I'll bring the camera down a little bit here, and I'll start writing in some, uh, some results. So I'll come into uh, view of the camera there. So I'm just popping in some, some data. Um, trying to make it a little, a little bit varied. So provided all the data is in tolerance, then the system's going to you know, um, work fine, all that data is going to go in and, and um, the system's going to be happy. But obviously we've built in mistake proofing, which I'll come back to in a second, but let's just deal with entering some results that are, uh, that are good and uh, are in tolerance. So I'll just move um, the camera over there and uh, pop pop that in and you'll see that uh, the pen pusher is now sending the data. Now once it's sent the data it can send us an email to say that that data has been sent if we want it to um, and you can see there it's sent uh, and that's my trigger now to actually go and import the data so there's the data it's actually going to a different email address that um, I'm not using at the moment so um, but if we've got that set up, we could get that straight in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to view the completed form, and I'm just going to compare it against the result. So 44.931, 44.932, 44.929, 44.932, and then 44.931. And you can see I've ticked against each one. Now, of course, Immediately, if we went back and added some uh, some additional data, so let's just go back and uh, I'm just going to go down here and and just pop a comment in there. The the data will get updated um, in the sent data file, so we can effectively keep collecting data. So I'm just going to close down that. Um, we should see pen pusher sending another set of data. So let's go and import that next set of data. So there we've got the um, the additional piece of information in the comments field. So if we just view completed form again, let's move that down so we can see it. And you can see the, there's the comment there and obviously we can we can go ahead and import that data into the part as well. Now I've actually disabled the database I've got on my system but we could import that into a SQL database and as I say that could then go on to uh, to all the databases as well but I've, I've switched mine off for this demo. Um, let me close down the digital pen and paper app and now open up the Visual Fair application and we should see that data sat in the form that I've got already preset up. So the first result, obviously, um, for the normal form one, is just going to be the result number one. For the um, the five sets of results, obviously, we can throw the five sets of results into those five fields. Uh, we'd need a different type of form to display these this other data. If we go to the SPC chart, you can see that it's also plotted um, those results. Now, these are just Excel sheets, so you can um, you can configure these however you want. Uh, I'm going to go and write a little bit more data in here, and then we'll see how this uh, this this data gets plotted on this chart. 
So let's um, let's just go back to uh, digital pen and paper. <clears throat> we'll save the Visual Fair file, and while that's uh, while that's doing that, let's go and write some more results on here. So I'm going to go. Um, let's go nine four one. So 961 um, is actually out of torrents, but I'm going to I'm going to actually well let's I'll tell you what let's say that that is out of torrents, and then I'm going to go 44961, uh, and I'm going to say that that is in torrents, and we'll see how the system um, sort of copes with that. So um, again, let's um, let's fire the data by docking the pen, and we'll run the uh, digital pen and paper app. So in the background we've got the uh, pen pusher app sending the data and then we'll go and import the data into the part and we'll uh, look at the completed form. So as I say we've got built-in mistake proofing you can see these results were okay but uh, result set number eight we'd actually said it was out of tolerance so we've We've made it red to indicate it's out of tolerance standard red within Visual Fair. We've put an amber warning on result number 9 to indicate that um, actually result number 9 was out of tolerance even though the user had actually said it's in tolerance. So we tested this and, and it obviously fell outside of tolerance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that data and we'll go back and we'll just take a quick look at uh, Visual Fair on how it um, populated the results in the form. Obviously I've got a form with five results but I'm, I'm just going to show you on the SPC form because obviously that's a, a continuing form not a fixed width one. So let's go and uh, we'll open up the PDF so we can see the data that we've got back. So we've got, um, we've got 44961 and if we just move that up there you can see result number 8 44961 but result number 9 automatically didn't get um, brought into the system because it actually failed to go through one of these gates and that's because it was out of torrents and, and the user had in this case me had, had ticked to say that it was in torrents so clearly there's a uh, there's an issue there that we need to resolve so um, that's the digital pen and uh, paper uh, demonstration. Um, I've got a quick um, benefit slide here that I just want to share with you just to finish off. Um, so a key thing about the uh, digital pen and paper is easy to understand and operate. You know, it's pen and paper. Um, dock the pen um, for instant data analysis. You can push the data into any form or any database required and you, you can obviously create custom forms for collecting the data. And you can collect one or multiple results uh, per characteristic. It's very portable, you know, you can collect the data when and, 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 um, and wherever you need it. And a simple green, red, in and out of tolerance, obviously the amber warning for, for when it's not following the actual rules. And then, um, you know, you've got a very fast and, and flexible solution uh, to meet all industry sectors. So if you would like a 14-day uh, unrestricted trial, um, please contact IPI and we can get that set up for you. And I really um, appreciate you watching this uh, webinar today and uh, look forward to uh, doing another one next month. Thank you. Bye-bye.